Zia Design has been making some noise in the past few years with their Blue Planet watch. I was blown away by both the quality and the build of that watch when I had the chance to review it on the channel, link in the description to that video. However, Ziga Design is out to prove to the world that they're not a one-trick pony. Although the watch we're checking out, the Series Z Edge, is not new to their catalog, I think it's different enough from the sea of other watch designs in the watch world that it deserves some praise. This specific variant is made out of titanium, but this watch is also offered in stainless steel. This watch is going to set you back $399, and for that price, you get a lot. However, there's also a lot of things that need some improvement, so stick around and I'll highlight the good and the things Ziga can improve on. The case is constructed of titanium. The company doesn't really specify what grade though. Unlike the Blue Planet, this features a tonneau style shaped case and the dimensions are as follows. The case measures in at 40.8 millimeters. It's 48 millimeters from lug to lug. The thickness comes in at 12.3 millimeters and in between the lugs is 22 millimeters. The water resistance is 30 meters, so I personally wouldn't really take this swimming. At the 3 o'clock, there's a sign push and pull crown. I do have to mention that on my specific model, the crown is not easy to pull out. However, once it's out on the second position, the interaction is relatively smooth. I like the red sleeve they use to house the crown as it plays with the other red portions of the watch, like the hands and the movement holder. The case design is very complex, there are a few openings, screws, and according to Ziga, a portion of the case is actually hand finished. I think the case is well constructed, however I'm just not a fan of that huge logo on the side of the case, and I think it will look so much better and cleaner without it. Protecting the dial, there's a sapphire crystal and it appears to have an AR coating. The skeletonized dial is very much in your face, and this is not the type of watch you buy for time telling rather for its beauty and complexity. I personally like the dial and I think their branding at the 3 o'clock works great. This watch very much resembles a Richard Mille, but it's not a one-to-one -one copy, so if you want that RM look, but don't have the RM budget, this is a great watch for that. I personally get lost on dials of skeletonized watches, so the lack of time telling never bothers me. I mean, the company did incorporate some indexes, but they're simply not functional. Another thing that's not functional is the loom. They applied it on the tip of the hands. But it's not bright and honestly pointless for them to go that route. Either make the loom bright and functional or just don't put any loom on the watch. This watch is being powered by a Seagull automatic movement that can be wound and hacked. The movement comes with 25 joules. It beats at 21,600 beats per hour and has a power reserve of approximately 40 hours and it's accurate to minus 15 plus 30 seconds per day. Again, accuracy on this watch is irrelevant. I do have to say that the movement is very noisy, but according to the company, that's actually a feature, as in their advertisement, they say, and I quote, express a sense of power instantly as you capture a heartbeat. Here you can hear the mechanical heartbeat. I get it, clever marketing, but the noise really needs to be taken down a notch. The watch comes with two 20 millimeter straps. The leather strap is very stiff and I personally don't think it goes with the aesthetic of this watch. Also, I need to mention that the strap was damaged out of the box. The strap feels a little stiff on the wrist, but kudos for including a quick release system. The rubber strap, on the other hand, is very comfortable and matches the watch a lot better, and it also features a quick release system. So interchanging straps is pretty easy, but be mindful that the spring bar holes are really close to the case, so I recommend less bulky straps. One thing I would change about the rubber strap is the Ziga Design logo on it. I feel it would look so much better without it. On my 6 and 7 8 inch wrist, the watch is comfortable and feels very light. I know this watch is not the type of watch that will match every outfit or be the type of watch to be embraced by most collectors, but I'm personally very much in love with weird shape and aggressive looking watches. My wife hates quirky watches, but hey, it's all about individuality and personal likes and dislikes, right? Look, the overall quality is good. They can and should improve on the crown tolerances. Also, either increase the loom intensity or skip it altogether. And lastly, this is just my personal preference, remove the branding from the side of the case and the strap. So is this watch worth $399? Well, very much so. I think the watch design is different. It wears very comfortable, and for sure it will be a conversation starter. 
Let me know what you guys think of this watch and skeletonized watches in general. Till next time, be safe out there and stay humble.